Hello Earth citizens. In this video, I will show you a 10 minute routine to make your spine flexible. Now you might be wondering, why do I need to make my spine flexible? Let's think about this. Your spine literally is the center of your body. And the spine is connected to so many different muscles that are attached to fascia, that are attached to your organs, bones, joints, ligaments, everything. So when your spine is off, then all the muscles that are pulling it need to compensate. So if a muscle here pulls this way, it affects a different fascia here that connects to a different organ that shifts it out of place, that throws your hormones off, causes a chain reaction of affecting other parts of your body. So when your spine is stiff, it has a tendency to put things out of alignment but when your spine is straight and supple, it makes everything flexible and still stay in its right place. So they say, even if you can make your spine flexible, you can alleviate about 85% of modern day disease symptoms. Isn't that amazing? So in this routine, I will help you make your spine more flexible. We will start on the floor and then change to standing up posture. So first, let's start by getting on our hands and knees on all fours and we'll just do some easy cat and camel postures. So legs about shoulder width apart, arms about shoulder width apart too. We're gonna start by relaxing your heels. So not, not like this, relax. And then start by curling your spine in so you're pushing your spine up and then dip down and look up. So now let's add some breath here. When you curl up, inhale in. And when you exhale, curl down. Let's do three more. Inhale in. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Now this time, inhale. And hold it there. Hold your breath. Three, two, one. Exhale. And hold it here for three seconds without breathing in yet. Three, two, one. Okay, inhale in. Hold it here, three seconds, three, two, one, exhale. Hold it here, three seconds, three, two, one, release. Let's go one more time, inhale. Hold it, three, two, one, exhale. And hold it here, three, two, one, return. Great job, go ahead and sit back into your heels, arms forward and give yourself a nice stretch into child's pose. Take a deep breath in and out of your body. One more time, breathe in. And exhale out. Great job. And now, we're gonna do some rolling back exercises. So hug the back of your thighs and roll just along your spine. Very easy, nice and easy. 
and let the ground massage the muscles along your spine. So let's do this 20 times. One, two, three. The key here is to breathe. Don't hold your breath. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three. Are you breathing? Four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Hold your thighs and rock side to side. <sighs> Great job, relax. Now turn your body to the side. And now we will do some postures standing up. Now that you're standing, go ahead and place your feet shoulder width apart. And to loosen up your spine, we're gonna warm up a little bit here. So first, stick your belly button out as much as you can. And then now your tailbone as much as you can. And just repeat this a few times. So your arms just naturally drop with the movements. You see how my arms are kind of just swinging naturally? Let's do 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when you do this, please keep your head up. If you swing your head like this, you'll get a headache. If you do this, you'll be dizzy. So keep your head up. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now move from this movement to more of a undulating movement of the spine from the tailbone all the way to the top of your head. So it looks like this. Like your spine is a wave swinging all the way from your spine, push from your tailbone to the top of your head. <sighs> relax everything, relax your shoulders, relax your abdomen, relax your arms, relax your neck, and just push up from your tailbone causing a wave in your spine. Let's just do this for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Great. Let's loosen up a little bit more. So fists down like this and open your chest. So when you do this, you wanna make your spine as loose as possible. And the key here is some people get too ambitious, so they start doing this. But you see how stiff I look right here? Relax and just soft, gentle movements like this. Out, in, out, in, out, in. 10 times, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna do two with our feet fists down, and then two with our palms open and facing up. So one, two, three, four, like this. 
okay? Keep your spine relaxed, not like this. Relax. And we'll do this 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Great job. Stop. Feel your body, feel your spine. Do your muscles feel a little bit warmer? Shake your shoulders. <sighs> and also shake your head lightly, side to side. <sighs> if there's any tension in your shoulders, imagine shaking them off your arms, out through your fingertips. <laughs> 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Now we're gonna go back to the undulating movements of your spine again. So same thing, push from your tailbone like this. And compare this round to your previous round. Does your spine feel a little bit more flexible? Do you feel a little bit less pain? Remember, don't overdo anything. So don't get ambitious like this. Very soft, wave-like, like this. And now if you have the movement down, I suggest closing your eyes and feeling your spine you will start to feel warmth in your body. Push from your tailbone, breathe naturally. Let's do 30 more seconds. You're doing great. Keep feeling your spine, relaxing everything down. 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Feel your body, feel your spine. Do you feel warmth? Do you feel tingly? Do you feel looser? You did a great job. To experience a full one hour brain education based yoga class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.